Okay, some updates on the garden. Um, these are the green and yellow beans. They're a week later doing very good. Um, these are the ones that that are attacked by the fungus gnats. I put the gravel in. And to compare this to last week, they made an outstanding comeback. I've actually picked a handful of yellow beans and even had them last night. Um, runner beans are putting out lots of flowers, but not lots of beans. But we'll, we'll give them some time. It took them a long time last year, too. Basil's gone nuts. Um, tomatoes. I've got tons of tomatoes, and they're finally starting to turn red. I've picked a few, but uh, these are... Again, I, I blame this, this, this yield on the, uh, the mason bees that I, I raised earlier this year. They just went to town on the tomatoes. Peppers are doing really good. We've had two peppers, two peppers off the pepper plant. And the cucumbers, we've picked three cucumbers, and cucumbers being what they are, they, the more you pick, <laughs> the more they produce. So I'm thinking um, we've got lots of little baby cucumbers poking out. I'm thinking pickles are in the future. <laughs> um, tomatoes in the air are doing very good. Um, got some some nice ones started here. One tomato plant didn't do well and I I don't know why. It's it's no different than any of the other ones. I just think that something happened to that one. So yeah, now um, the corn. The corn last week I think that I showed had silk. Um, now it actually has cobs, little cobs. And it's got another silk. I can see it down there starting another little cob. They're starting, the cobs are starting real low on, on this one. This is the bread and butter corn. Um, I was a little disappointed that the cob is so slow to develop. But then I read that it takes about 20 days for them to mature, so... It's only about a third, a third grown, um, and these are the ones I had had to hand pollinate. Now the some more beans. Oh, here's here's something really weird. Um, my gerbera daisies have started growing corn. <laughs> I don't know what happened here. I don't know if there's some kind of weird cross pollination between the gerbera daisies and the corn that made it start to grow in there because I sure didn't plant corn seeds in the flowers. Um, carrots. Yeah, now here's the silver queen. Yeah, this, is, this is back up here. My corn field. This is my corn field. Now, I did um, I did a few days ago put a pinch of urea, 4600 urea, in each of them um, because I, they were tossing but I wasn't getting any corn silk so and thought maybe, maybe the beans aren't putting out enough flowers for them to get what they need. So I gave them a pinch, and lo and behold, um, I started getting sprouts. And I finally, 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 finally have my first uh, sweet corn s or, or silver queen silk. So I'm real happy about that. And I can tell there's some swelling going on in a lot of the... Uh, the stalks, so I think I think that's going to be a pretty good yield there. Now those those, those ones on top were the first ones I planted hmm, back in May. Um, yeah, so oops, I'm in another bird bath here. Oh, um, let me show you. I've, I started something. I started another crop of corn. Now these um, these are my. Silver Queen, what's left of my Silver Queen seeds, and the bread and butter, um, the last of them. But I tried something a little different because I had the urea, so after I planted the seeds, um, I mixed in a little, maybe a pinch, just a little pinch of urea in each, each tube and watered it. And those seeds popped up in about three days. Now this, to give you a comparison, this corn sprouted... Monday, so it sprouted five days ago. So this corn is only five days old. Now, to give you a comparison of the difference, um, oh, I lost it. I know, I have, I have a lot of people know I lost it. This corn, by comparison, 
um, I potted and, and I planted that corn about three weeks ago. So that's a three week old seedling that wasn't treated with the urea and these are five day old ones that were. So there you go. Um, so I'm putting about yeah, maybe a half two, teaspoon of the um, urea now in the big plants. And um, doesn't seem to be hurting them, and it's kind of hard to tell if it's if it's really helping or not. <laughs> but I'm I'm pleased. Yeah, the garden is going pretty good.